this is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and I am actually on time doing this video. I'm going to do my Watt sold for June 14th through June 20th. Um, it's been a decent week of sales. Um, it's the summer slowdown. Everybody feels it. Um, but because I have volume listed, my sales continue just to do enough. How about that? Um, so I'm going to share some of the things that I've sold this past week. Um, large amount of plush as always, but I, I'm selling other things. We had an amazing weekend this weekend, so I have spent the last two days just trying to get as many pictures done and as many things listed as I possibly can. So this is the life of a reseller, especially a full-time reseller who's primary income relies on me keeping my store full and um, moving along. All right, so this first thing that I sold um, were brass. I've talked about it for weeks now. We are doing some amazing sales on brass. This person bought two items and um, the brass pillars had been listed for a little while um, but she bought the two lots for $62.90. Um, the second one, the candlesticks, my husband had picked up on his trip. And it was part of a $15 bundle. So um, I'm quite pleased with the way these are going. I featured this in a haul recently. It was, I believe, just in a tote of plush that we bought. It is a Godiva Black Cat plush. Um, I... It, it was a bulk sale, so probably less than a dollar, and it sold for $22.45. I featured these probably last week's hauls. Um, I bought a Lego set in a bag. It was $5 for these two items. Um, I noticed right away that the taker did have a few pieces missing, but I went ahead and listed them together, noted in there that it was not complete, and I sold it I believe the same day, if not the next day, for $30. This is a Coles Cares Biscuit plush. Um, it sold for $15.25. The buyer did send me a message asking if I would upgrade to um, Express Shipment, which I did. Um, and when you've, you're facing this now with managed payments um, and not PayPal, it's okay to exchange email addresses in your eBay messages. Um, so I had her send me her uh, PayPal address, the email address, and I sent her an invoice for the difference. Um, she ended up paying about $37 to have it shipped. But again, you know, you do what you got to do to make your children happy. This was um, in one of my first hauls, I think. I bought two huge Squishmallows, and this one sold. I believe it went global shipping, and I sold um, Ben the Dinosaur for $26.95. I'm pretty sure I paid either a $1 or $2 for him. I featured this in... You guys are going to think that I sell everything I list. I don't, but it just seems that... Um, a lot of the things that I've been picking up recently seems to just sell quite quickly. But this is a Hasbro Weebles Treehouse. Um, I picked it up at a thrift store I had never been to here in our town. And I decided to split it into three lots. Um, I had the treehouse with its accessories. And then I had four of the vintage Weeble people. And then a Tigger and Pooh Weeble had been in the set too. And I have officially sold all of it. Um, but I did take a best offer of $35 for this treehouse. It had a couple of condition issues that I hadn't noticed right away. Um, but I did make note of it. I'm still selling these strawberry shortcakes that I picked up at a churchyard sale. I paid $5 for it. And I sold it for $21 best offer. This is just a Dracula plush by Universal Studios. 
um, I picked it up probably a quarter or 50 cents and I sold him for $11.66. I'm trying to show you guys some of the lower end stuff that I sell also, but I sell a whole lot of character type plush. So if you see them, definitely do comps on them. I picked these spice jars up at an estate sale a couple weeks ago. I think I paid $5 for them, but it may have been a half price day. So it would have been $2.50, but nevertheless, we'll say $5. And I did take a best offer of $20 for them. This is a Doc McStuffins Rhonda helicopter. Um, it's not very big. It's only like this big, four or five inches tall. Um, just an example of some of the singles that I come upon and I check comps and I'm usually pleasantly surprised when things are selling, you know, more than $10. Um, but I did sell the helicopter for $13.45 and a lot of these I just pay 10 cents or a quarter or I grab a whole handful of things and they charge me a dollar. I found, I bought him, I, I don't remember where, but he was in a baggie with some other Lion King things. Some of them were just fast food. But I looked him up, and this is the Disney Lion King scar from the movie. And I was pleasantly surprised that he was actually worth some money, and I did sell him for $26.95. Robert picked these up on his um, black belt test trip that he just came back from a couple weeks ago. Um, and I did sell the Little Tykes Castle Toddle Tots for $26.95. I talked about these probably last one of last week's hauls. Um, we went to a yard sale where my sisters and I were, somebody was going out of the Tupperware business and I paid 50 cents for this each for these pieces of the rock and serve containers. And I listed them together and sold them for $53.95. Here's an example of a lovey that I have sold. It's, I've never even heard of Evergreen Enterprises, but I tend to like the loveys like this. Well, I buy all loveys, but when they have these unique designs on there, the, the swirls, um, I usually consider them probably a little bit higher in my price scheme. Um, but I did sell it for $26.95. Christmas sales. I picked these up um, at a yard sale. I want to say I picked, paid maybe a dollar. I picked up three or four of them. Um, it could have been an estate sale. I don't remember. But I did sell this one for $17.95. It was a very unique unicorn Pegasus ornament. Robert picked this up on his trip. This is Smokey the Bear that had a pull string, um, and he did talk. He was missing his hat, and he had some discoloration from just age and poor storage. But I did end up selling him for $20 best offer. This is a Walmart plush. Um, I pick up Walmart all the time. And he was a larger plush, and this is actually going... To Canada I shipped it this morning um, and it sold for best offer of $19 if you're not doing the make offers you really should consider it um, I sent offers out on these three doll outfits to you know just send them out and one person contacted me and she's actually from Australia and we worked out the shipping on them and she went ahead and picked them up. She paid a total of $26.88. I bought these at a consignment sale for a dollar each. So it took a while. I've had them for a while, which is why I like sending these offers out, especially on older stuff. Here's the Tigger and Pooh from the, the vintage Weeble lot that I um, picked up a week or two ago. And I did end up selling them for $28.75. I 
this is funny, my husband and I do puzzles all the time. I have, um, a, on our coffee table upstairs, we always have a puzzle going. And we just finished this one this past week, and um, I listed it and sold it the same day. Um, it was complete. We enjoy putting them together, and um, I sold it for best offer of $12. We bought this at an estate sale, no, yes, an estate sale um, probably a month or two ago, um, and it has been selling quite well for us. Um, this was just the mixing bowl or a salad bowl, larger than a soup bowl or anything. I, I want to say we paid $60 for the huge set of dishes and I sold just this bowl for $53.95. This was a vintage Eden um, Lorax plush by Dr. Seuss um, and I sold it for $22.45. I'm sure I picked this up at the bins on one of, one of, of my sourcing trips uh, beginning of this year. I have found a couple of these, and I featured, I think, him in one of my hauls, saying I'd never seen them, and then I found a second one. But this is a Ghoulie Monster by Gus Fink, and I did sell it for best offer of $11.99. Again, this is two things, Christmas and Barney, um, but I did sell this Barney plush for $11.66. I couldn't have had but a quarter or 50 cents in him. So it all adds up, right? This is a Tokidoki Unicorno plush by Aurora. I bought a whole bag of these. I want to say I paid like $16, but there were probably a dozen plush in the bag. And I'm down to the last few, and I sold this one for a best offer of $10. It's little, just seven inches. This is a plush land swan. Just another generic kind of plush that I picked up. Basically, I picked him up because he had terry cloth rabbit ears on him. And I've said this before, I'll pick up anything and everything that it has terry cloth fabric on it. And I did sell him for $13.45. These next three things um, are things that I have already sold from the online estate sale that we featured in a separate haul last week. Um, I went online, found this auction at a place that was about two hours from here, I think, and um, I won 136 lots. Almost all of it is vintage toys and some other things. But most, almost everything was, um, a lot of it was advertising type items. Plush and cups and dishes and just uh, so much stuff. Probably a thousand or more items I've got. And I've only listed a few, but I've already sold three of them. Um, this was a Mr. Potato Head, um, the vintage one. Um, and I took a best offer on him of $25. And then they had all of these pharmaceutical uh, coffee cups that we bought. Um, my husband had seen one in the pictures that sold for about $130. And so he bought that one. And then I saw, it was a funny story, but I bought another lot that had another one in it that um, had sold in the past for $175. Now I've got both of them listed and they haven't sold yet. But I did sell this Prozac cup. Um, there were another, uh, there was a comp on it for um, $30. But I listed mine low because it had a whole lot of like flea bite paint chips on the rim and just wasn't in pristine condition. And he sold, it sold for $17.95. But this was my surprise. Um, this Ambien cup. I started it on an auction. I started most of the cups because I couldn't find comps on them. So I thought, I'll just 
start auctions. Well, I only sold one thing on auction, which is this. And but I had started it at one twenty nine ninety nine, um, and I got a message from somebody that said, "I will give you a hundred dollars for it." So I wanted to go ahead and let the auction run just in case. So I lowered the price down to $99.99 and he was the only bidder on it. But I'm thrilled. I'm going to, I'm gonna keep a tally of, and I may at some point quit, but of everything that I list from that online estate sale, um, just to see um, how quickly I recoup my money. I spent $591, which included um, the the fees and taxes. I think I, it, everything that I bought was like $430 and then I had to pay all these fees. But so, so far I've sold the, the $99.99, the $17.95 and then the $25. But I only have a few things listed. I Probably not even 30 or so. And I have over a thousand. I just can't seem to find time. I'm running out of time in the day to get stuff done. But I'm hoping I'm going to get to it. I am. <sighs> All right, these next few um, things I'm going to show you were some of my Facebook sales. Um, this first one um, was some Loving Family dollhouse dogs, pet dogs. I went ahead and lumped them together, and I sold the two of them for $19. I think I featured this in a haul. Um, this is Spark Create Imagine. I picked up th this elephant and I think I picked up a monkey that I listed and this sold pretty quickly for $20. Never heard of this brand, but I went ahead and listed it. It's Jag, a raccoon, and it sold for $12. This was um, very cute. It was called the Original Dragon Puffs um, by Heather Goldmink. I think it must be some kind of book or movie or something. But I listed it. It was so cute and it sold for $22. And then I think I featured these in a haul. I picked these up at an estate sale. Um, they were some Neiman Marcus um, clutches. I had this pink one and then I have the black one. I paid a dollar each. I think they were some type of QVC type um, deal. But I sold one immediately when I listed it on Facebook um, and then I forgot that I actually had two. So I went ahead this week um, and then one of the listings just wasn't getting any attention. So I ended it. So I relisted the pink and the black um, clutch and I sold them the same day that I listed them. Here's the pink one and here's the black one. So if you are doing any um, listings on Facebook, if you're noticing that you're getting zero views, um, you might want to consider ending it and relisting it to see if it gets any traction. I say I'm going to do it. I did pick a few things that day and this sold, but I just I need to get in there and clean up. I probably have 1,500 items on Facebook and a lot of them are getting older and probably need to be ended, relisted, and the prices adjusted. But, all right, so that's my sales for this week. Um, I'm going to try to get another batch of haul items um, recorded tomorrow so that I can plow through them because um, you can't make money if you don't um, have it listed, right? That's my mantra. You can't make money if it's not listed, so I got to get this stuff listed. All right. Thanks for everybody who keeps sending me comments and encouragement. I do appreciate it. If you're a new viewer, I think I'm um, like video 28 or 29 right now, so um, please do check back. Um, subscribe keep up with the the videos I'm enjoying what I'm doing and I'm hoping people are seeing that there's lots of money to be made spending very little money um, at normal yard sales thrift stores estate sales um, you know this is this is a good thing for us our family it works into our lifestyle all right all right thank you